Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another video from my ambush camp series where I focus all my attention on one specific ambush camp. And on this video, it is the Horse Creek ambush camp that gets my full attention. Right then, this camp consists of 14 marauders that have to be taken care of. The camp itself is situated in the central eastern area of the Cascade region and on this video I actually show three different runs in order to get the job done with this particular camp. And before I bring up the map, it's worth noting that all the runs that I show on this video are done on Survivor 2 difficulty. So trust me when I say folks, this is as hard as it gets. Now, here is the location of the Horse Creek Ambush Camp and there is two ways in order to get onto this camp. The first one is what I'm going to show in the optimal uh, run, but you also have another area that if you head right up to this spot up here, there is a secret entrance that allows you to get onto the camp. And most people would think, oh yeah, that must be the best way in order to get the job done with this ambush camp. Well, I can tell you right now, folks, it's not. Watch and learn. This is how it's done. Right then, here we go with the optimal method. Now, I stay well back at the very start because uh, there is a guard that potentially can see you as soon as you've crossed the bridge. But I'll show exactly where he normally stands uh, before making my assault on this ambush camp. And with this being the optimal method, I like to show the run being done with the resources that you're most likely to have at this stage in the game. And all I'm going to require to get the job done here is a 9mm pistol and a suppressor. Now, when I get to the end of this bridge, the first area I'm looking to check out is where that red arrow is. If I don't see a marauder there, that is it. I am good to go. So I always make sure that I'm in the crouch position because it uh, basically ensures that Deacon is a lot quieter. There will be a sniper to my right that I'll show in a minute, but that is the first marauder that I'm looking to take out. So... The sniper will keep. <laughs> okay, first one. And it's going to be a stealth kill. In fact, quite a number of these are going to be stealth kills. Especially of the first seven. At least four of them are getting it like this. <laughs> so there we go, that is two down. Now, the order in which I take out the first seven is very important. Because when you do them in this way, it just makes the job a very easy one. So, for the third marauder, I'm looking to approach this marauder via the right-hand side of this hill section, just to make sure that I've got protection and cover. And from here, that is the marauder that I'm looking to take out. So, just a rock down there, it just gets the marauder far enough away that I'm not going to be seen by anyone. Because there is another marauder a little bit further up there, but he is so far away, there is no danger whatsoever, as long as you make sure that the rock's thrown down into that area. So from here, I'm on to Marauder number four, and this one is facing away from you, so you just have two climbs to make, and you're pretty much at them. Just make sure that the second climb is to the right-hand side of that ledge. That way, it allows you to get a good camera view to see if there is any Marauders in that area, and there isn't, so I can go ahead with that kill. And this one here is now an easy kill because Marauder number three was taken out of the picture. If that third Marauder was still alive, yeah, you can get problems when trying to take out that particular one. But so far, so good. That is uh, five. And the next two that I'm taking care of generally uh, basically patrol along the bottom section here. That one there does go along a little bit further, but this next one coming down here usually stops um, just after that uh, rock over there. So I'm getting ready and, oh, they're very nice of them. They're just looking round and, uh, yeah, that makes for a nice, easy headshot. So, anyhow, on to the next Marauder. I have two options here. I can either take out the next Marauder by those uh, rocks that I just uh, dive rolled from, or I can just wait in the bushes here. And I'm just going to do it from here. It's a slightly harder shot because you are slightly further away, but you won't be seen. As long as you just take your time and making sure that you get the headshot, you'll be fine. You just need to make sure that you don't miss. So I'm just waiting until I've got the sight pretty close, then go with the focus, and then quickly take them out. 
Now that that one is taken care of, that makes the job a lot easier for the next Marauder after this one. Now before taking out this one, I like to make sure that the Marauder that I highlighted with the red arrow is not looking over this way. Because if they are, and I take that Marauder out there, and because it's on Survivor 2 difficulty, I will get spotted. But by making sure that they're not looking over this way, it's all good. And of the two Marauders that patrol around this area, there's only one of them that ever comes down to this spot. So I know at this point here I am very safe. And I'm basically waiting for another Marauder that is going to be coming from my right hand side and walking down the road here. And they will stop as well, which makes for a very easy kill. So after this, I am going to give this section um, a slightly wide berth in terms of I'm looking to get over to the other side. But I do like to walk around uh, the rock section here, especially as the Marauder that I'm looking to take out next likes to look from one or two of these sections. So you just don't want to give him the opportunity, well, him or her, the opportunity of seeing you. So I just look to get to this position. And I know from here that the next Marauder is going to be walking down that area there. And from there, I'm looking to take out, of the last three Marauders that I've got left, three of them now are going to be taken out with stealth. And as you can see, a potentially difficult ambush camp is now about to get taken out very, very easily indeed. And here we go, right on cue. So at this point, that is number one with the stealth. And you have another Marauder over here doing sweet FA. And they're not going to be doing anything again for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Sorry, that's really cruel. But I've got a job to do here, so... Right, just two more left. This one here, I'm taking my time, just getting a bit closer. I've got all the time in the world here. Just get aimed, take them out, and the very last one. Yeah, it's going to be stealth. That's the last one. And that is it. That is my optimal method. You will not get an easier one than this. And from here, I just need to do one last thing, find a bunker. And that's not a very difficult job either. It is basically down this way here. Heading over, not that far off the electricity pylon. And yeah, all I've got to do is uh, to open up this uh, bad boy and uh, this job is done. So, As always, because I'm playing on Survivor 2, um, I don't have a minimap, but I can access it very briefly and it'll just show me where I need to go when I'm down in this bunker section. And uh, here it's a very easy job indeed. It's just a straight walk through and then over to my left. So, And there we go. That is the Horse Creek ambush camp taken care of in what I consider to be the easiest way possible. Right then, on to the sniper rifle option. I will basically show one of these options on every one of my ambush camp videos because anyone who is playing this game on NG Plus will have the benefit probably of a sniper rifle. Uh, the sniper rifle that I'm actually using on this particular run is a Talon 7. You will not have access to this until you have opened up Lost Lake and have a level 3 trust in that region. And it's worth noting that every ambush video that I show from here on in that is in the north, I will be using this sniper rifle in order to do the job. But uh, anyhow, for this particular run, I am basically using the secret entrance to the camp uh, for one reason alone. And that is basically because once you actually get into the camp this way, you do have a very good vantage spot and you are very well covered. Uh, and protected in terms of not being seen but before you can do that obviously um, you have to take care of one of these freaker traps after that it's just a case of crawling under this next section and that's it this camp now opens up and I'm basically straight away looking to get down to the section on my right there I can stand up at this point because basically um, I have very good cover here indeed and not only that I can see the marauders very clearly here 
Anyhow, let's get this party started. The first three Marauders I want to take out ideally here are the three that are closest to me. So this one here is most certainly getting it. The one that is heading down the hill there. Yep, I'll take them out too. And that third one that is over on my left is just a little bit too far up. So I'm going to wait for that one. And that one up there, I want to prioritize fairly soon too. But they are in the wrong position. So it's now just waiting for that one on the left just to start walking down the hill a touch and then I'll take them out because there is no other marauder that is going to come down as far as what this one is right now. So it's a safe kill. And yeah, I'll just let them walk into the site. Very nice. Now this one here, I'm waiting for a very specific spot that they're looking to uh, walk into before I'm going to take them out. Because once they get over here, it's all good. I can take them out cleanly without anybody else in the camp being alerted. So after this, I'm heading down here, and there is a long shot coming up next. But I'm not seeing any other marauders nearby, so I'm just going to take the shot, and that's it. I'm moving on. There is one marauder, potentially, that you might alert by taking out that particular marauder that I just did. But if that one was alerted, you would see them very quickly and you could take them out with uh, a sniper shot. But this one here, I'm just looking to take out with stealth. And then I'm looking to take out the next lot of marauders in a very specific order. The first one is going to be that lazy sod that is beside the wall. Yep, good night, Irene. Now, the next one, I do want to wait until they get to a specific spot. And it's this one right here. If I take them out where they are now, I am going to alert the camp. Because there is another marauder nearby. But by waiting a touch, and something spooked them, but that's okay. Job is done, dusted. Now, the next one, this is a bit of a finesse shot. You do need to get a good close-up with this one. And yep, take off the top of the head. But that's it, very nice. And of the five remaining marauders, I'm only going to take one of them out now with the sniper rifle. And it's going to be the next one. This is basically uh, marauder number three from the first run, who is over on the far side here. Because after this, the last four are basically set up so nicely for uh, stealth kills. It's uh, beyond belief. So this one, as usual, I'll just let him walk into the site. Get the focus on. Yeah, job done. So this one over here, that is always uh, by the fire, try to get some heat. Yep. You won't have to worry about heat for much longer, dear. Good night. <laughs> right, that just leaves the last three, and they are all on the other side of the camp, so this shouldn't take long from here. Yeah, I am making a bit of a meal of uh, getting down from that section, but never mind. At this point, I'm looking to go to this section here because the first marauder is just over to my right. This one that is just constantly leaning against the wall. Okay, that just leaves uh, these last two. So I'm just going to wait until uh, the first marauder here walks over to the far right. At this point, I'm just going to use the dive roll just to close the gap very quickly. And yeah. Last but certainly not least. And there we go, folks. Job done. So, as before, it is just a case again of finding the bunker which I've already shown, but uh, I'm most certainly going to show again for anybody who's not that familiar with uh, this camp. It's basically over beside the, the electricity pylon here. There it is. Down the edge. Okay, and from here again, it's uh, just through these door sections and then to my left. Hello, a map. Looks like and there we go. If you're looking for a good way to take out this camp using the sniper rifle, that's not a bad way at all to go about doing it. Okay, on to the last run.
Now then, as always, I like to show a horde option when there is one available to take out an ambush camp. And for this particular ambush camp, I'm going to be using the Cascade Highway Horde. And I'm going to make sure to do this at night time because their feeding grounds and their watering grounds are very close to the ambush camp. Now, there is potentially a second horde that you can use to do this job, and it's the Proxy Falls Horde. But they are a little bit further away, and the trouble with that horde is you don't always get the full numbers of the horde going over to the ambush camp. And because of that, you sometimes struggle to take out the entire ambush camp with the numbers that you have. But when you use this horde, that is not an issue. They're not very far away at all from this ambush camp, so uh, it's never a problem. But there is another important piece of information that I have to point out about this particular horde. If you are wanting to use this horde to take out this ambush camp, you have to make sure that the Lost Lake region is unlocked before looking for this horde. Because if you haven't been to Lost Lake, you will never see this horde. Simple as. But not an issue here. I've got the numbers. I'm basically just looking to lead the horde right up this way. I'm making so much noise with the gun for obvious reasons. The horde are always attracted to the noise. So I want them heading up this way. And I'm looking to get a little bit of uh, protection here. Well, it's more cover really. But uh, yeah, at this point it actually looks like uh, the cover's not going to do much good. Okay, they've actually stopped. So it's like, come on boys. Your dinner's up this way. <laughs> And yeah, I am going to be quick when going through here. Don't have to worry too much about taking hits because the Marauders generally tend to focus more on the Freakers as they're coming up. But uh, Sod's Law, just as I'm saying that there, I took a couple of hits. But uh, as you can see, I'm playing this on Survivor 2 and I've still managed to get through the camp there pretty easily. You just take that route and from here, boy, this uh, horde is not long in taking out this camp whatsoever. So there we go. Now that the job is done, this is another um, handy tip to know and employ. Now, if there is any of the horde still in this uh, ambush camp, which there will be, I'm not even going to bother try to, trying to take them out. I'm basically just looking to get to this bunker. I'm going to open up the camp. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use the bed that is inside this bunker and I'm just basically going to change it from night time to day. And by doing that, I'm guaranteed that the horde will no longer be there when I basically come out of this bunker. It's uh, something worth knowing, folks. It's a very handy uh, yeah, tip to uh, employ Walmart. if you're looking yeah. to take out an ambush camp this way. So there we go. That is the ambush camp done and dusted. As I said, there is always an area that you can use to sleep. And I'm going to take full advantage of this. And at this point, that is just about the job completely done. The last thing that I basically need to do is to just head out of the bunker and loot the corpses of all the marauders that are now dead above. And that is the Horse Creek ambush camp well and truly taken care of. As always, thank you so much for watching the video, folks, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.